Snow White is fundamentally about beauty. Mm. And one of the things that's challenging, you know, one of the things Ziegler said is, you know, it's not 1939 anymore. And it's true. Snow White wasn't written in 1939. It's an ancient, <laughs> ancient fairy tale. It was preserved by the Brothers Grimm, but it probably goes back hundreds of years, even before the Grimm writing. And what is it about? What is the sort of timeless truth that allowed that story to be older than our country? Much, much older than our country. And, and I, I think that what the fairy tale is actually about is something that we, we're, it's so foreign to us because we live in a world where we can't talk about reality at all. And we haven't been able to talk about reality forever. But there is an, in, in the original writing, it's not even a stepmother. It's actually her mother. Oh, wow. Mm. And even the Grimm version changed that between their original publication and their later publications because it just felt too harsh. But that right. is, but the, the ancient fairy tale is the mother. And what the story is about is the very common phenomenon that every parent feels that over time your children replace you. And so the mother gained notoriety or, or attention or security through her beauty. And now her daughter possesses more beauty than she. And, you know, if you have a son, you know, I, I don't, but if you're the father of a son, it's a very common thing that people don't talk much about. When when your son brings home the beautiful girl for prom when he's 17, you know, the father feels some pride, sure. But he, he also feels some despair because it until now, he's been the one that women look to. <laughs> and now the son is. And this is a, it's a, common tragedy in life but it's but it's a beautiful tragedy that over time our children replace us and in our generation where we live now we won't even have kids for fear of missing out on any piece of life the idea that we could be replaced by our kids that part of our job is to take all of our not values although that too but our value and impart that value into the future by creating replacements for ourselves that's what snow white is about i just gotta say i don't have kids but to anybody who has that feeling when 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 your son finally beats you at basketball <laughs> or football, mm -hmm. that should be one of the greatest moments of your life. Absolutely. Yeah. That is you winning. Mm -hmm. That is you winning right now. Right. And when you see your kids succeed, that is you succeeding. Mm -hmm. Your, right. it, your it whole really mission. Is. The other thing, too, that happens when you have kids, at a certain point in your life, there's more life behind you than there is ahead of you. Mm. And you can get lost in memories and looking back. But if you have a child then you can see so far into the future. It's absolutely right. spectacular. You mm -hmm. can see, you can think about their future and their children's future. Yep. You know, my son is already tired of me saying, don't forget to give mommy some grandbabies. You know? <laughs> <laughs>